I am living the American dream to be the CEO of Girl Scouts of the USA, which is the largest girl-serving organization in this country, if not this world. To me, that's just so overwhelming. I'm so proud to be in this position and so honored to serve in this way. You know, I grew up, grew up without any sisters. I had two brothers, so for me, instantly getting a group of girls together and all of a sudden we're Girl Scout sisters, you know, and we're working together and selling cookies together. And I remember that being one of the best experience I had. And then I got to go to Girl Scout camp. And for me, you know, growing up, that was a huge thing because we were never allowed to go away from home without parents or cousins or tias or, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I got to go with my Girl Scout troop and it was amazing. I loved it. I think growing up, um, and they have continued to be my biggest mentors, are my parents. And my grandmother, my abuelita, uh, Vicenta, who was you know, just a cornerstone in my life, who really gave me the confidence to do things that I wanted to do when I was little, and was consistently pushing me to get my education. Oh, technically, in high school I was a waitress in a Mexican food restaurant. <laughs> that was my first job, which I actually learned a lot because there was a woman who owned the restaurant, uh, a Latina woman, and she was a great mentor of mine because I had never worked in a formal environment before. She taught me some great lessons. First of all, always be 15 minutes early from, for any job that you're ever in. You know, Don't show up right on time, show up 15 minutes early. Always be the best you can be in any situation, whether you're handing out menus or advising the President of the United States. And three, always be honest and transparent. Again, irregardless of where you are, people want to know that they're working with somebody that has credibility and, and ethics, and you can never be too young to learn those lessons. We are very proud of the fact that we serve girls all over the country. Almost in every zip code you will find a Girl Scout. And so for us, we want to ensure that we're growing along with the growing girl population in this country. And as we know, as any demographer will tell you, the largest increase in youth population in the next 20 years are Latino children. And so we are a very inclusive organization, have been for 100 years, and we will continue to be inclusive to ensure that girls of all backgrounds feel welcome, included in an organization, and are served in a manner that really allows them to propel into their future. I grew up in a family, uh, muy humilde, and we were taught that any time that you were given recognition, that it wasn't about you. It was about the organization that you were working for or the people you were working for. So when I receive this award, it won't be for myself, but it will be for the millions of Girl Scouts that I represent. I recently was in Atlanta and had the opportunity to meet a whole group of Latina Girl Scout volunteers and their daughters. And as we stood there and they embraced me and they kept embracing me and telling me in, their, you know, in Spanish how proud they were of me, it gave me pause to understand, the, one, the responsibility, but two, how hard I need to work on behalf of Latinas and all girls so that w when success comes to this organization, they can see that any person, irregardless of background or ethnicity, can perform at the highest levels of society and succeed.